Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and welcome to Overwatch Central. So today we're going to talk about the winners and losers of Hammond, or Wrecking Ball. Please, just call him Hammond, please. But there is going to be some speculation in this video, of course, but it is worth adding that myself and Miska have both played a pretty big amount of hours on the PTR, like actual sort of pickup groups playing with people in a competitive game mode, with people playing 2-2-2, Triple Tank Dive, all of these different strategies. So we do have a good amount of experience in what heroes Hammond plays well with or gets countered by. The scenario for this video is this, Hammond comes into the game and is going to be somewhat meta, he's going to be quite good. So the winners and losers of this video are based on the heroes that will go up in popularity, i.e. the winners would be heroes that, you know, play well with Hammond, cooperate and synergize with him, but also heroes that actually counter him too. The losers will be heroes that can get countered by Hammond, but ultimately can't really do much against him. So because of that you naturally have more winners than losers in this scenario, because you have the heroes that work well with Hammond and also the heroes that kick his ass a little bit. But before I actually get into the list, do let us know who you think are the biggest counters to Hammond, the biggest heroes that you see going up in popularity if Hammond was to do the same. And by all means, disagree or agree with my list in the comments below and do like this video whilst you're down there, it really does help out the channel. So let's start with the winners, the heroes that do very well playing alongside a Hammond first and foremost. And that essentially comes down to dive in a lot of senses. So Winston, Diva, Tracer, and Genji all make this list. Now, D.Va's an interesting one in itself because you'd expect D.Va to be somewhat contested in that spot with Hammond. Whilst I do think that's the case, D.Va just wins outright. So if Hammond does get played more, D.Va is up there for contention. And it may be just a case of if you're better at D.Va, you should play her instead because Hammond is very difficult to get the same effectiveness out of him. But the main reason why these two tanks are on here is because of the triple tank dive composition that we spoke about before. There is a video in the top right of your screen now, which you should definitely check out to find out more. It's definitely, I feel, a de facto strategy that Hammond will be ran in. So I do think it's wise for you to get up to date with that if you really want to learn and play this hero. Kind of just prepare yourself for when he makes his way onto life and into competitive. Tracer and Genji, there's nothing better than running around as a Hammond alongside your Tracer trying to find a target to dive. You can swing in, slam down onto the ground, knock the target up into the air, and Trace and Genji can make mince meat out of them from there. And ultimately, Hammond just fits that sort of playstyle. It's a lot harder to play Hammond than D.Va, more so to dive in targets, and certainly to burst them down because Hammond just doesn't have that burst that D.Va has. So if he gets played more, it's because of this strategy, I do feel. But if not, if you want somebody to run alongside Hammond, then these dive targets are the best. Two other heroes on here that might be a little bit more surprising are Moira and Anna. Anna's so much so because you can like heal him from long range, but also both of these supports are on this list because of the triple tank dive that I mentioned. Both of these supports are very good at healing big beefy tank targets in triple or quad tank lineups. So meaning if Hammond gets more popular, triple tank dive becomes more of a thing, then you want a Moira to heal up your tanks in that transition between you diving a target and then you acting like triple tanks trying to sustain a point and just keeping yourselves alive. Having a Moira and Anna for that is amazing and Anna is starting to make her way up in popularity. Hard to say why really, but this might be a step in the right direction for this hero. Now we're going to transition into more the characters that are good with and against a Hammond. A Doomfist is the definition of that, I suppose. Doomfist works well in the dives that we've spoken about, especially with the burst damage that he can do that Hammond just can. It means that you can, you know, swing in, as I said, hit the ground with your slam ability, knock a target up in the air, and it should be relatively easy for a Doomfist to sort of aim his secondary fire, aim his rocket punch, and hit the target as they come down to the ground. In a lot of senses, Hammond does play a lot like Doomfist, but in a tank role. You're there to more annoy and irritate and get to the back line of the enemy and just disrupt and brawl and fight them there. Doomfist does that too, so it makes sense above these heroes synergize fairly well. But Doomfist is also very good against Hammond because Hammond is incredibly susceptible to CC, and that's why Brigitte, McCree, May, and Roadhog all make this list too. The strategy that I've been talking about so far has been swinging, hit the ground with a slam, and disrupt. However, McCree, Brigitte, May, and Roadhog, Doomfist can all CC you out of those abilities. You don't have a fortify, you don't have any way to block any crowd control coming in with slams, with flashbangs, with hooks, being frozen by May. You get the idea. It can be really easy for you to be taken out of your state of momentum by these heroes, both metaphorically and physically. Miska actually did a video going over all of the interactions with Hammond and this is one of the main areas that I feel is going to screw over the hero so if you want to do know how these heroes legitimately shut down a lot of stuff that Hammond wants to do, do check out that video in the top right now. 
It's a very similar case for Doomfist at the moment, right? That if you are going up against a good Doomfist, then you bring in the Roadhog and the McCree and you can shut them down. I wouldn't necessarily say that they had counters mined, but they're certainly heroes that are going to cause Hammond a lot of problems and just means that he can't get away with everything that he wants to. I actually wanted to include this clip of just basically being CC'd as I'm trying to dive in. See what I mean? Last on the list actually is Orisa. Now Orisa is an iffy one because at first glance you sort of expect that she's going to be on the losers list. She doesn't really like to have heroes run up to her and get all up in her face. But her halt ability still works with the swing of the Hammond's grapple so that can take all of your momentum out. But the most important thing is heroes that have armor really do screw over Hammond quite a lot. And this is why Brigitte is one of the main heroes on this list that I want to highlight. Hammond does five damage per shot and usually shoots two rounds at the same time. But armor obviously decreases the amount of damage that you do from five to 2.5. So you basically do so little damage against any form of armor. Brigitte of course heals people via armor. So her and Arisa just stack up really nicely and it just takes so long for Hammond to burn him down that he can't honestly really do it. So I feel that anti-dive is a good way to shut down the triple tank dive with the Junkrat to put out a lot of damage. Of course he's good against multiple tanks as well so maybe that's the counter to this whole strategy that people have been raving about. Now let's get on to the losers of this list and the list is fairly short honestly. There's three heroes on it all of which do different roles. It's worth adding again that this list isn't really gospel. It's certainly from our experiences and also a bit of theory crafting on what heroes are good and bad with Hammond in the game now, but if you do agree or disagree, feel that other heroes should be added into the lists of winners and losers, then do let us know in the comments below. I am really interested to hear what you guys have to say. And a lot of the time I look through comments and there's a lot of stuff that, oh hey yeah, I never thought of that, that's a really good point. So do let us know below if you do have any information I guess you want to share. But now going on to the losers, it goes down to being Zenyatta, Reinhardt and Widowmaker. We'll start with Zenyatta because he's a hero that doesn't really like to be dived. So having three tanks literally diving on him at the same time with a Genji or a Doomfist just spells disaster. It doesn't matter how much of mercy he's going to pocket him, he's going to go down fairly quickly. Whilst his Discord is going to be strong against Hammond, I do feel that Zenyatta just doesn't have the sustainability to stay alive in these situations. The same as Anna mind, but Zen's in such a staple spot right now that I feel that he's almost been countered by this whole strategy. Reinhardt's another interesting one. Whilst he does have armor and can look after himself a little bit, it comes down to the more CC that you can do. Knocking him up into the air is a really big problem for Reinhardt's and it honestly feels when you're running that Reinhardt's area composition against the Hammond that you kind of can't react fast enough when the tanks dive into your backline and tear your Zenyatta apart. So Reinhardt is kind of still okay, but he's not going to be any more fun to play if you're getting knocked up in the air now by Hammonds, as well as all of the other CC that's in the game. So it's more of a gameplay perspective that he's a loser. It's just more problems to deal with as a Reinhardt. So it can be really difficult to play him in this sort of scenario and situation. And finally, Widowmaker, I haven't put Hanzo on this list because Hanzo's frankly just too good. He has too many abilities to sort of cut down a Hammond or get out of there. But Widowmaker is susceptible to being dived on by a Hammond. Not necessarily that Hammond would kill a Widowmaker or burst her down, but his job is mostly to sort of disrupt and put off the Widowmaker from trying to kill your backline or trying to get those picks because she's too busy trying to deal with you either by getting away or trying to put some damage into you. When you're in ball mode, you have no headshot critical headbox. So there can be very little that a Widowmaker can do when you're just basically in her face trying to annoy her. But again, it does depend on how good of a Hammond that you are to get up to high places to actually dive on the Widowmaker because sometimes those jumps can be really difficult to land and trying to actually swing up onto platforms that a Widowmaker is on can take a little bit of time. But as I said, the losers list is a lot shorter than the winners. There's a lot of heroes that do well with a Hammond, but also good against him. So do let us know what you think of this list. As I've said countless times, it's not final, it's not gospel. If you agree or disagree, do let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.